Now, how does a broiler use the energy in this feed? Roughly 35% of the energy is used for good or to basically power the basic functions of life. To grow, put on weight, lay eggs, move, breathe, pump blood, maintain body temperature. The remaining 65% is essentially put off in the form of heat. It's a byproduct. It's something the bird has to get rid of. The bird has to get rid of manure that it produces each day. The bird also has to get rid of a tremendous amount of heat that it produces each day. If the bird doesn't get rid of this heat, it won't be able to maintain its body temperature, bee consumption will go down, and eventually the bird will die. In a way, a chicken is really not that different from an automobile engine. Only 25% of the energy, the calories that we put into a, our cars is used for good. That is, basically drive down the road, power the air conditioning, turn on the radio, and stuff like that. The remaining 75% of the energy that we put into our cars goes out the radiator and tailpipe. So the good news about a chicken is at least there, 35% efficient compared to our cars, which are only 25% efficient in terms of turning calories into something we want. Now, how much heat are we talking about? The fact of the matter is a, seven a six pound broiler consuming roughly 90, 100 grams of feed, uh, excuse me, 0.36 pounds of feed each day produces about 90 BTUs of heat each hour. What is that? That's a little less heat than produced by a 40-watt incandescent light bulb, which is about 120 BTUs per hour. So think about it. Inside of every six-pound broiler, there's essentially a 40-watt light bulb. And if you don't believe how much heat that is, go ahead and grab a hold of a 40-watt light bulb that's, that's on. It's a tremendous amount of heat. The other way of looking at, looking at it is the same amount of heat is produced by 90 matches. So inside of every six pound bird in the house, there's 90 matches worth of heat that that bird must get rid of. It's a byproduct of digestion that they have to get rid of in order to survive. Now here's some work that we've done out in the field. This is done in an actual broiler house, a 50 by 500 foot house, where we measured the heat production of 23,000 seven and a half pound birds we're looking at roughly 3 million BTUs of heat. That's 3 million matches. And where's all that heat? Inside the birds. It is the same amount of heat as that produced by burning 32 gallons of gasoline per hour. Now, how does a bird get rid of this excess heat? Because we have to figure out if we're going to help these birds cool themselves, we have to really understand how they cool themselves. First the bird loses this heat to the air around it. It's very simple. The bird's body temperature is roughly 106. Let's say the room is 70 degrees. The air is cooled in the bird, and the bird just stands there and loses heat to the air around it. Pretty straightforward. The second method, which is very important to a bird, is through the evaporation of moisture off its respiratory system. As a chicken breathes in oxygen and exhales CO2, it's actually evaporating water off its respiratory systems. Its respiratory system is essentially an evaporative cooling pad that can produce a tremendous amount of cooling. So every time a chicken breathes in oxygen, it's not just breathing in oxygen, it's cooling itself. So whenever you see a chicken is breathing, it's cooling itself. Now the fact of the matter is, when we're looking at the bird trying to get rid of that 90 BTUs of heat each hour, that 32 of that 90, or 35% of the heat loss, is lost to the air surrounding the bird. The majority, the primary way a bird loses heat is through breathing, is through the simple process of evaporating water for its respiratory system. In fact, again, 65% of a bird's heat loss is tied to the evaporation of water off its respiratory system. And this is very important to understand, to realize, like your evaporative cooling pads, the bird's ability to produce cooling is going to be tied heavily to humidity. Birds are extremely sensitive to humidity, much more so than we are.